Okay, we have joining us in the studio the Executive Director of Socioeconomic Rights and Accountability Project, uh, SERAP, Adeto Kumbo Mumuni. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, nice to see you. Here yeah. we are again. <laughs> Nigeria not doing so well in, on the corruption uh, front. In spite of all we have invested emotionally, psychologically, financially, financially mm -hmm. materially, in every way to fight corruption. Mm -hmm. What exactly is happening? <clears throat> Thank you very much. Let me say immediately that even the worst critic of this government would, even if they, if they don't want to ag agree openly, will tell you that the situation in Nigeria now, mm. as per what is being done to fight corruption, is quite different from pre-2009. 15 situation. Now, that having been said, we now start wondering what had happened between the last one year, which is the focus of the mm. Transparency International mm. Perception Index. Mm. Yeah. Within the last one year, you will have heard in the news um, the issue about the former secretary of the government. Mm -hmm. You will have had the issue of the Ikoi stole money, the NIA. Mm and NIA mm -hmm. and all those things. Now, like I have said on a number of um, occasions, you see, what you do, doing what you say you will do, because let us get it straight, this government said three things. Mm -hmm. I will fight corruption, mm -hmm. I will fight insecurity, and I will revive the economy. Yes. Now. Let's face the issue of corruption that we are here for. Mm -hmm. Now, what language, whether clandestine or openly, has this government been making Nigerians themselves understand within the last one year? All that we have seen, with due respect, is that when it comes to people within the inner circles of this government, and the issue of corruption is like it takes this present government eternity to act. Or oh, when it acts, it uses the air freshener. Not Thank you uh, very much. Uh, 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 apologies to Shil Sani. <laughs> you see, and you see, when you take this battle on, whatever you must do must be balanced, open, and direct to the point. You don't take one year to resolve issues of corruption within the system. You don't take eternity to decide whether to dispense with somebody that is accused of corruption. Ask him to go and sit down first. You know, if you talk about the, the secretary of the government, it took, it took almost one mm. year yeah. for it to be resolved. That is not the way to fight corruption. But has it even been resolved? There was a report credited to you where you said that the President Buhari is losing the war against yes. corruption. Mm. Yes, I said so. Can, can you make us understand? When it comes to losing the war, because the body language or the perception of, okay, you're not doing enough is yes. one thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Losing the war is another thing. C can, you, can you make it, make uh, it clear uh, for let us me to tell understand? You. Yeah. When you have said this is my cardinal objective or my main goal in this government, if something is your main goal, you have to um, adopt and apply all the necessary resources. Prioritizing and it. Thank you very much. You prioritize it. And you see, it has come to a situation in Nigeria where it's a lot of people now think this government is not doing enough. And it is not doing enough that affects perception. Mm -hmm. You see, once people think you are not sincere in this war, then that is the ultimate perception. Mm. When they think, nobody questions the integrity of the president. As an individual. Mm. As an individual. Mm. But we are talking about institutionalization of the fight against corruption. Mm. That takes it out of the individual purview. So structures, institutions has to be strengthened to fight corruption. Okay, well, and that we are not seeing. This mm. government in responding has said it regrets the perceived failure of uh, this administration in the anti-graft war yes. and has questioned the 
parameters that the mm -hmm. TI, Transparency International, used uh, to come up with this conclusion. Mm -hmm. The TI, just to help the government understand mm -hmm you know, how the TI came to About this conclusion. This, yes. TI says it is either the judiciary is not able or willing to prosecute the VIP cases uh, of public servants and politicians who have plundered uh, the nation's resources, number one, and that there is a catastrophic lack of oversight over public funds in spite of the country's numerous international commitments and, you know, uh, conventions that it has agreed to that they have remained totally unfulfilled. Uh -huh. That is what the TI has said. Will you say the TI lied in making that assessment? You see, when we say we are fighting corruption, we have three levels of government mm -hmm. that should be pursuing the same goal in concert and in tandem. And in tandem. But we are not saying that. Remember that this government forwarded proceed of crime bill to the National Assembly. The, the purpose of the proceed of crime bill is whoever steals you come and clear then his name. It will not be the normal thing of you are presumed innocent mm. until, 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 until no, that will not be it. Mm. You know how you stole the money. It is for you to account for what what how you got the money. It is not for mm. the prosecution to now say mm. to prove beyond reasonable doubt. Yes. That bill is so, so important. I doubt whether the National Assembly, it's, they have not had it debated. The executor submitted that bill almost about eight months after the coming into government and to existence of this government. Mm -hmm. Now, remember that the judiciary, they are, in a manner of speaking, complicit in the way the prosecution and the handling of cases in court. Mm. You know, that to me would not be the business of the executive. Because it would the, be the judiciary too. Yes, and, and because, yeah. because it is not for the executive to, the, the, the business of the executive to arraign people in court. But that is to say, we still have faulty judicial system in place. And that's why we say we have to create institutions. And apart from the system, the judiciary itself has been tainted with this uh, that, corruption. That's what, that's what we say. Yeah. And and that is not good enough for the fight against corruption. You see, those who see us from outside will be looking at the three levels of the um, institutions of government, mm. the judiciary, the executive, and the legislator. Mm. What are they doing in cooperation? No, no, we, are not, we are not asking for a rubber stamp judiciary, but we want a judiciary that will uphold what, it, what judges normally swear to when they take out of office, mm. to do justice, according to law, to all manners of people mm -hmm. without affection, oh. ill will, mm -hmm. or whatever. Okay. Now, the federal government accused uh, the former boards of, or members of board or people, those who have acted as boards of the Transparency International who are mm -hmm. Nigerians. Uh, and if you look at the, the, the reports in detail, uh, uh, former... The president, mm -hmm. Lucia Gobasanjo, yeah. has been a, obvious uh, obvious is, uh, yeah, has been a former director mm -hmm. on, uh, as, the, as the case may be. But one would ask, a Nigerian would ask, what benefits, to what aim will a Nigerian who has been a member of the board of uh, TI uh, influence bad report against mm. his or her own government? Uh, I don't think the Europeans by their own standard and institution operate that way. Mm. As a matter of fact, when this report will be commissioned and released, mm. they would, I don't think they will ever take the views of Nigerians within their fold mm. into account. That's not the way the Europeans want. They do, when they say transparency, it has to be transparent in all mm. respect. It will not be transparency in one respect and so I don't think, I don't share that view. Mm. Unless we want to be deceiving ourselves. The truth of the matter is that this war is not going on, even to every Nigerians in the way I'm managing. Is it go. because um, corruption is fighting back? Uh, to no, 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 the words no, no, no. of uh, no, good, uh, Wale Shinka, or, or uh, the simple fact that this government has not done right when it comes to uh, perceived nepotism, uh, injustice, uh, one-sided war against uh, corruption and all of that? That is even the opinion of a lot, a lot of Nigerians, mm. that this war 
is one-sided. But I don't personally share that view. Okay. Mm. Because the reason is that if you say you are a member, for instance, PDP, and you are being willed by this war, the truth of the matter is that do you have any case actually to answer? That or to me is the exactly. bottom line. Mm. Once you have a case to answer, whether you are APC, PDP, mm. Abga, that is not anybody's business. Go and face your own position mm. in the court. And what I have consistently found out is that mm. it is only people that are well to do that will be raising these issues. When the common man steals a tuba of yam, yeah. and the, the man is hounded, beaten, mm. even the press and Nigerians will hail it. But it is when it becomes a matter of the big people that will now start talking about against the rule of law, and then they are not being given, given the opportunity to defend themselves. No, that is not the correct position mm. in, my respective op in my respectful opinion. What I believe is that once you have a case of craft against you, Go and answer. Go and answer it. Mm. Don't use dilatory tactics. You see, Nigerian lawyers who are masters in defending politically exposed persons would only labor to be mischievous mm. and look for loopholes in the in the appraisal of law when it comes to people, big people. Speaking of loopholes, this government has been patting itself on the back, you know, saying, <laughs> look, we, we have demonstrated and showed the political will to do the right thing, yes. you know, especially in going after high-profile uh, uh, looters, um, including military chiefs, yes. ending impunity for corruption, uh, blocking loopholes in TSA, for example. Uh, the, you know, yes. this government has done a lot, saving Nigeria uh, so much money. Uh, the EFCC has... Uh, recouped some 703, over 700 billion naira, uh, you know, back into the coffers. Yes. And these are all indicators that this government is doing what it should in tackling corruption. Uh, yes, I agree. And that the TI seems not to be, uh, you know, <laughs> looking that way looking at all. That way at all. And the way the TI people see it mm. is that a government is not one arm in Nigeria. There are three arms of government in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. What is the contribution of the legislators to this fight? What are the judiciary contributing to this act, to this fight? So you cannot be talking about a government. Think about the executive. Alone. And no mm. high-profile political, politically exposed person has been jailed. No, the truth no of the matter. Closure yet, no, the as good, far as good, that's concerned. The, good of, the, the truth of the matter is that that cannot be the business of the executive. Mm. Uh -huh. Is it judiciary? Okay. They, no, the executive will arraign people in court. Yeah. But the government will not be the one to determine the case. Yeah. The legislator will not be the one to determine the case. So what we are saying is, if we will say we are fighting corruption in truth and in fact, all the three arms of government who have governmental powers mm. must cooperate. We are not asking that a, a, a particular branch of government should um, leave its own sphere and mm. allow it to be intruded upon by another sphere. Mm. We are asking for cooperation okay a total collaboration total collaboration now on on the west african front nigeria didn't fare well yes. mm. on the african front nigeria didn't fare well 52. and uh, on the african front botswana is seemed to be number the one. number one country when it comes to the cleanest country when it in quotes uh, as far as uh, transparency and the issue of corruption is concerned what are they doing that is so different from what nigeria is doing Good. You see, Botswana, for instance. No, for example, let me say, rather than attempting to call Transparency International names, mm. rather than attempting to rubbish the report of Transparency International, mm. what I believe this government should do going forward is mm. read the report, ask an independent person mm. to look at the report and advise the government sincerely. Mm -hmm. The truth will lie somewhere mm. in the report. And that is the way of making progress. When somebody says, I've issued the report, I don't think the report singular Nigeria alone. Mm. It was considered Nigeria in the, in the context of 180 other countries, mm -hmm. yes. in the context of one, uh, 52 other African countries, mm -hmm. in the context of 17 West African West countries. African mm. countries yeah. So to me, it will, be, it will not be too okay 
to cast aspersion on that report. And this is coming at a time when Buhari, Pre President Buhari has just been made the uh, champion of anti-corruption war. No, that is to tell you that, 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 that is to tell you that mm. the way the African sees this issue is different from the way the Transparency International look at this issue. Mm. For example, if you say, ah, I'm not doing well, I would say, <laughs> my brother African countries uh, have so just confirmed have, yeah. that I'm doing sufficiently enough. Mm. And that would be an argument in favor of the government. Mm. But I'm saying, more honestly, that this report should be critically examined by people that the government, the, the government should commission a, a, a group of people to look at the report, mm. identify what they have said, and try and see how they can will incorporate it. In and many governments right. can as, actually... As we round off, yeah. as we round off now, generally, mm -hmm. um, we know that there are sections of the government, like you said, it's not just about the executive arm of government. Yes. Mm -hmm. All of us have to work. Now, but putting institutions in place where it is not, we, we won't be talking about the integrity of the president as an individual alone, alone but about all the different institutions. Yes. What should really be done to bring sanity to the entire system? So we don't talk about the integrity yes. of just one person. Yes, one, one, you have to put institutions and structure in place mm. so that whoever is there will not be able to ride rough short over the system. So that it will be a coordinated, consistent effort that fight against corruption. So whether Buhari is there or not, the maximum that Buhari will use under our constitution is eight yes. years. Mm. Is in the first leg. Is asking for the second term. So, assuming after eight years, if institutions and structures are not put in place, we go back to square one. Mm. I pray that God will not allow us to get that mm. bad again. All right, we have to leave you here now. Adit Tukumbo Mumuni, Executive uh, Director, Serap. Thank you very much for coming on the it's program. It's a pleasure. Thank you.